WTOC told you last week that Tybee Island will be increasing their parking rates starting next month. We've spoken to island visitors about their feelings, and today we're talking with business owners. Our Shea Schrader reports. It's not just people that visit Tybee Island that will be affected by these parking rate increases. And in talking with some local business owners, there's concern that it'll affect not only their customers, but their employees as well. I made a stop at Stingrays and spoke to some waiters and waitresses. They didn't want to go on camera, but told me that customers have been upset about the parking rate increase to the point of complaining to them about it. They also told me that they pay for parking too. So if they're working a typical eight hour shift, it'll cost them $32 to park. I spoke with one other person who said they may have to quit their job on Tybee because it could cost them more to park than they even make in tips. I also spoke with Frank Kelly, who with his wife owns the Beachview Inn and Spa. He says from his business's perspective, they have a parking lot, so people might be more inclined to stay there versus somewhere they have to pay for parking. However, he says he used to be on the parking committee and believes there's a better way to charge for parking that puts less of a burden on visitors and businesses. We go to a variable rate during the week. We can drop the rate down on the weekends when you don't have enough parking, you raise it up and there's no reason that can't be impl implemented. They can also implement on this island higher parking down by the Strand, possibly because it, that's where it wants to park, and do lower parking at the other end of the island. That parking rate increase does go into effect on March 1st, and as a reminder, it'll cost $4 an hour to park whether you're paying on the app or on a meter. Reporting on Tybee Island, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.